Hello everyone and welcome to Battle for Minecraft 2, Patch 1.09 HD Edition. Today we got 1v1 on Forts of Undoing 2, which is of course a reskin for Forts of Eisen 2. Our players are going to be in the bottom, Sir Nahul playing as Red Dwarf, and his opponent in the top is going to be Elfen player Pulcino GR or Junior playing as Elves. Um, and who is host? This is important. So we got Observer and Pulcino is, ho is host. So if if his opponent is not from Argentina, then this delay is gonna kill him. <laughs> Plus, Elves most of the time get an advantage, but you may see uh, that I hate playing with Elves, definitely on Fort Weizen. Uh, I screw things around lots of times, even if I know that I shouldn't. So Pulcino is saying his builder is in really weird positions, definitely this one is completely in the corner of the map. This one is going to some edges as well. Two battalions of Lorien, more archers actually. It's going to Maltry. Not another battalion of Lorien archers, only one in the and barrack near the fortress, which is to be honest wise decision. On the other hand, he is using the far side. He knew the opponent's strategy at the moment or at least structure that uh, his opponent possessed. He saw the builder as well as how warriors and the mineshaft. And there are pikes coming up. There is a mine shaft on the left side. Really good decision. But Pulcino may take it down, may find it, may kill the builder. We'll see how it goes. Another battalion lower with an archers from the elephant player. And dwarf at the moment got to be creeping with pikes. He got the builder ascending towards the right side. Elf is starting to creep. Mm, nothing unusual. Aggressive stance on the uh, archers, increasing the damage for 15%. Dwarf and pikes are going to creep as well. Another Lorien archer battalion is going to stand over here and being prepared for some counter attack, uh, maybe some guardians. We can see that dwarf is trying to creep both the war clerks, but he will not be able to do so. He chooses running call as his power point. We got another phalanx battalion but definitely this builder got to hide in the mineshaft if it's possible and we'll see how it goes. Builder is trying to get away now he's doing nothing and he'll be killed. Or oh, actually good job over here throwing the mineshaft. He doesn't have resource for uh, warhub so there's a really good choice over there. P but pikes are not that fast than Lorien archers and they will be out micro definitely. There is another Lorien archer but uh, they will be creeping the right side over here. And there is another Lorien archer but uh, just keeping the base uh, prepared for any counter attacks. Lorien archers trying to kill pikes, they will definitely do it. And what do we get in the base? There is a siege works or Forge works as gold for the Dwarfen player and he would like to go for some battle wagons and creeping the troller if uh, his opponent will allow him to do it and lots of Lorien archer spikes on the way as well but Elf was forced to retreat at this point but almost destroying a entire battalion of pikes is what you definitely would like to do Dwarf is creeping, level 2 pikes are enough to creep the troll they don't need to receive the rallying call. There is a mallow tree, so the elephant player know which path of uh, mine shafts dwarf choose. Dwarf is doing pretty well uh, on his own over there. He got some guardians. He would uh, like to go for siege works on level 2. He got 1k resources maybe for Gloin. Why the elephant opponent freeing the mirror of Galadriel near, uh, near the base? Most of the time you get uh, the fortress upgrade for the healing units that uh, gives you 55 or 45 more health, uh, receiving the health, so it's definitely better than the mirror of Galadriel near near the base. The builder may be catch and killed, now the mineshot will be thrown down, so dwarf overall doing pretty good job over there, taking entire left side for himself going with some definitely good macro over here near home and uh, going with some battle wagons but we'll see how we will micro over there 
how well micro he will present to us. You can see that Elfen player is trying to increase the vision with Lorien uh, Mallow trees. And the dwarf is not going for hobbits, which is weird. Uh, you would like Tiffin to go for hobbits. Elfen guy is going for more infantry units. Uh, really usual strategy. There is a first radical used by the dwarven player. Entire army of elves has been crushed over here. And pikes are no more, which is really important for this battle wagon. Those elf and archers may be crushed, and those uh, guardians plus pikes don't need to follow those elves anymore. Which actually happened. Entire two battalions of Lorian archers may be killed pretty easy. There is no way the elf may retreat, although he is trying. And dwarf will let him do it. This is really weird. There are no pikes over there as well. The battle wagon could be used over there to kill those units. Increase the amount of power points that the dwarf possessed. He's back up a really good amount of resources at the moment. And he should definitely counterattack his opponent while he is not doing it with this battle wagon that is standing over here. On could just get into the mine shaft. We'll see how it goes. Deploy. There is one deploy and there should be another one. Yeah, there we go. The loading warriors will be crushed. Lots of power points uh, belongs to the elf player, to the dwarven player at the moment, but he got to roll over with the battle wagon, which he's not doing at the moment. Loading archers, more rolling archers for the elf and player for some reason, and they will be killed as well. As we can see, more power points for the dwarven player, which is really important for him. Where are pikes for the uh, elf and player? I don't know. I cannot find them. There is a heal, so for some reason, maybe Pulcino is going for the hero. He lost some mallow trees. He doesn't have that much of the mallow trees. 1, 2, 3, 4 at the moment. As he's losing 5 maybe uh, at best. And it doesn't look well for him. Almost 10 power points for the dwarf player, which he is not moving. There is Glorfindel on the battlefield, pikes and archers. Glor Glorfindel, really good hero against... Um, Mind shafts to be honest, there is Gloin as well for the Dwarf and player and Dwarf get uh, using lots of resources. This uh, hero is going to smash some mine shafts only. There is nothing else that he could do and he will not do anything else. There are ter pa 10 power points for the Dwarf and to be honest, those mm, battle wagons should retreat at the moment. They shouldn't get into those uh, pikes but I think there is Miss Micro and both the battle wagons are going down. Uh, also, the charge attack should be used mm, to increase the damage and speed of guardians, which is not going to happen. To Elf is wasting power points as well, receiving running call, uh, receiving uh, heal instead of uh, Hobbit Alliance. So it's not looking good for him. He wastes his potential over here. He wastes lots of stuff. He got the entire mine shaft ready for him, and he could destroy the Taurus expansion over here. I think um, there got to be a lag involved in this matchup. Lots of matchups going down for uh, Maltries going down for Elf. He's not going to get lots of power points after this. It's not looking good for him. Definitely, Elf got to do something. Got to heal his units near the mirror of Galadriel. Glorfindel as well is not dealing that much damage as 1.00, and uh, this hero will be forced to retreat. There are third power points at the moment already for the Dwarfen player and for some reason Dwarf is going for Dwarfen Reaches mm, to get more uh, resources. Not the bad choice, but still it's really weird to see this. There is also a Demolisher for some reason. I don't know why. Um, to be honest, Dwarf could end this game already. He got definitely good amount of advantage over here. 1k combined points for him, Dwarfen Reaches, against only guy who got only one Mallow Tree, or rather two. So that's not the big of the deal to kill such player. Also, Glorfindel on level 1 is not doing that much damage to the mineshaft, so he is rather useless. Mm, I mean, definitely. Elf got mm, also bad composition of units. Only one battalion of pikes. He's going to get two battalions and lots of Lorien archers. So the battle wagon may kill just Lorien archers because they are just faster. And the elf doesn't have any other heroes except for the Glorfindel which uh, Dwarf player should use to his advantage. He got two Demolishers, he's going for another battle wagon. No banner carries for the Elfen player as well, which is really weird. 
it could be the end for the elephant player at the moment, but uh, Dwarf is not going to execute the game yet. I don't know why. The battle wagon. Okay, in control. Elves completely not protected. It's not looking good. Heal has been used to heal Glorfind, I assume. And the battle wagon should get away or just uh, used, uh, been used into the pikes over there. There is a heal to heal battle wagon, killing all those Lorian archers. A really good choice over there. But you need to roll over those units more and more to get more power points. Five power points at the moment for Elephant Player. And Dwarf got lots of power points, even King Dane on the battlefield. Battle wagons are not moving forward. I think it's a really heavy micro over there, and uh, Dwarf cannot micro on off host completely. The, the Demolitor is going completely wrong way. There is King Dane, he will definitely kill Glorfindal. He received a key, got more health. So the Glorfindal would like to get away. But there is the game. The Platino has been defeated. Mm, he got nothing to back up his plan. I don't know why this replay was called Fulcino, <laughs> but from Earth to Legend. Uh, against some um, unknown noob for some reason. Dwarf uh, put it uh, put up a really good work over here and win the game. Mm, the replay description is misguided and should be uh, redone. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, definitely game could, couldn't could turn out uh, differently. I've made really big mistakes over here. Tons of mistakes. Doesn't creep, doesn't interfere. Doesn't have pikes uh, in the composition of uh, elephant archers, doesn't micro, uh, receiving Glorfindel and dealing no damage, wasting 2k resources in the process, and uh, that allowed dwarves to win the game pretty easy. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you enjoy, feel free to follow and subscribe on my YouTube channel as well as Twitch, and see you next time. Bye bye.